everyone it's NQ Explorers again. Today we're in the um, Bivouac area of the 2nd 17th Australian Army Infantry Battalion. We were camped here in 1943-44. Uh, what this is here is the old, uh, the remains of the old uh, cookhouse chimneys built out of local stone and uh, concrete and it would have been a tent mess hall there and the battalion was camped all in this area. There's, in fact there was about two divisions and over 30,000 men in this area but um, we're just going to stay in this little area today and see what we can come up with. It should be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. I've dug a couple of uh, 303 cartridges. This one here is a good signal, so we'll have a look at what this one is. We're not very far from that uh, the camp kitchen, actually. Um, it's about 10 metres that way. Now it looks like we've just got a coin in the bottom of the hole. You can have a look at that. Now it's in the shadow, unfortunately, but there we go. Looks like a halfpenny dropped by some soldier on his way to the Southwest Pacific. Pretty amazing history, really. Well, that's that's really good. I'm happy with that. Okay, we'll keep going. Okay, getting a good solid signal with this one. Could be a 303 bullet, but maybe a piece of brass or a coin. It's reading a coin size and the conductivity is pretty high, so just have a little look. Oh, it's out of the hole. Good signal. There we go. It's a coin. Looks like it's a two cent piece actually. I don't think that's been there since World War II. <laughs> Good one. Okay. Okay, we're just turning around the edge of this old concrete slab here. It may be uh, the remains of a little mess area or something in between the tents. Uh, we've got a really good signal off the edge of the slab here with the Ace 250. And uh, we're just going to see what it is. Oh, there we go, look, it's an old uh, Australian Army spoon. How about that? Must have been a mess area. Government spoon. We'll clean that up and see what they made those out of. I don't know, they would have been in silver, but it's, it's a very, it's a heavy item. Oh, that's a good find. Okay, we'll, we'll keep hunting around this mess area. Well, that's a good old signal here. It's uh, high, real high conductivity and it's saying it's a coin size. Actually, that concrete slab where we found that spoon turned out to be a shower block. There's some old drainage pits and things, so I don't know what the spoon was doing in the shower, but it was there. Definitely out of the hole, whatever it is. Was. That's a good signal. I oh, know. It's a ring. That one's a ring. We'll clean it up and see what that is. It's heavy. Got a big chunk out of it, but see what that is. Well, we're still working the shower block area, and uh, the finding things that should be in showers to top off an old safety razor. That's a good find. Keep keep looking around here because uh, there's been a lot of activity in this area, obviously. Well, I had no idea what we'd find up here today. But the last thing I expected to find was an army truck. Look, I found a whole army truck. It's an old matchbox uh, 
army truck from the 1960s or something. What that's doing here, I have no idea, but that's good. It's the old uh, army ambulance. I had one of these when I was a kid. That's strange. Well, anyway, that's a good find. I'll take that. Time for a bit of break and a nice hot cup of tea, and we'll get back into it. Here's another one of those old uh, kitchen stone ovens where the uh, mess tents used to be. Would have been a few uh, stews and a bit of bully beef cooked up here, I reckon, and a bit of complaining in the background. Well, we're back over near the old uh, camp oven or mess tent or whatever it is, the uh, stone chimney thing. We've got a nice signal here. Might be a bullet, but it's a high conductive target. There we go. That was a bit of an old beer bottle for a start, so we might definitely in the mess tent area. Oh, look at that, it's a rising sun badge. That's, uh, that's a collar badge off an Australian Army uniform. That's a really good find. That's uh, the smaller ones, like this are lapel badges, and then you get the big ones off the slouch hats, but that's off a, a lapel badge. Australian Army badge. That's a really good find, that. Great one. Just another hard signal, it's only a mid tone, but it may be another badge. Or a 303 bullet. Oh, look at that, some little silver thrippings. Beautiful. What a little coin. Oh, that's good. This mess area is pretty productive, actually. Okay, we're on the Ace 250 this time. Not far from the fireplace where we just got that threepence. And we're getting a good signal here. Oh, there's a coin. It looks like a halfpenny size coin. That's a good one. Well, we've got three coins and a, uh, a rising sun badge in a very small area here. We'll just stay here and work it slowly and steadily. Oh, that's a good signal here. It's a good hard signal. It's not... It's ringing a bit there. Oh, that's a buckle. Put off some uh, webbing. Army webbing buckle. The brass. That's oh, good. Okay. This one's a good solid tone, and it's out of the hole. Might be a bullet. It's sort of jumping around a bit. Piece of brass or something. Oh! A little threepence. Another silver threepence. That'll be sterling silver. 1940 something I suppose, I'll clean it up and I'll put the date up. That's a nice little coin, beautiful. Okay. Well we found a bit of a case here of these uh, live rounds. We've got uh, five so far and there's more on the ground. I'm not sure what they are. They're, I thought they were fired, but they're actually live rounds but they've got some kind of, uh, up near the rim, you got some kind of um, attachment, so I have to study these at home. I've never identified those. I've never seen uh, rounds like that, other than the old pinfire type rounds. But there's a heap of them under these rocks here, so they may be out of a pistol. Now anyway, we'll keep digging them up and see how many more they're here. Well, everyone, here's uh, just a quick review of what we found uh, on that army bivouac area yesterday. Um, but firstly, thanks to everyone who subscribed to my channel. And uh, I hope you enjoy watching my videos as much as I enjoy watching yours from all over the world. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, what we got here was plenty of um, 303 cartridges. We actually found more than that, but uh, they're not all here. Uh, the little army truck. 
that's a Matchbox uh, toy from England from the 1960s. I guess uh, some little fella dropped it up there looking where Grandad had been during the war or something. I don't know. Some buckles from um, probably from Webbing or Pack uh, Army Pack. Um, bits and pieces from the shower block, the razor and the spoon, which I've misplaced, but it's around here somewhere. Um, this case of bullets. I don't know what they are. They're live. I thought they were um, 303 cut shells, but they're, they're not. They're, they're, they're live and they've got some sort of weird attachment on the rim there. I don't know what they are. I've never seen anything like that, but it's a bit of a mystery. Maybe some sort of pistol bullet. That's a beautiful example of the Rising Sun badge, that uh, lapel badge there. Um, two halfpennies, a 1938 and a 1943. Uh, two little trepances. The 1943S, that was minted in San Francisco. And the 42 was in Melbourne. And the ring is a silver ring, but it's badly worn and pretty knocked about, so I can't really identify that. There is some writing on the inside of the rim. Um, but, yeah, no, that was a lot of fun. I hope you uh, enjoyed my video, and uh, I'll bring you more soon. Thanks for watching.